Yes, students. Good afternoon. Welcome to our video lecture. Due to some technical issues and network problems in our classrooms, I am going to upload today's lecture. So, all of you please pay attention. Now, students, in the last lecture, we were discussing the list of formula for me. X bar me. Now, the total list of formula is students basically divided into two categories, all of you know this. The total data students in statistics is divided into two categories. So, the list of formula is also divided into basic two categories, ungrouped data, ungrouped data and group data ungroup data and group data again group data is divided into discrete frequency distribution and continuous frequency distribution which we have already studied the distribution of discrete variable is called discrete frequency distribution and the distribution of continuous variable is called students continuous frequency distribution now dm stands for direct method last time i told x bar is equal to sigma xi on n where n is equal to total number of observations we have already discussed this but once again as a division i am going to revise this formula plus now students in the shortcut method SCM shortcut method dm is equal to xi minus a where a is equal to assumed mean and the formula of x bar is equal to a plus sigma di upon n the formula of b is x bar is equal to a plus sigma di upon n now students i will demonstrate the method so you need not worry many of you don't know what is di now di is equal to the difference between observation xi and assumed mean a we will do the sum okay not for ungrouped data but for grouped data but this will be easily demonstrated and generally for ungrouped data students we prefer dm that is direct method now for discrete and continuous frequency distribution direct method formula x bar is equal to sigma fi xi upon sigma fi which is n equal to total frequency for discrete series students xi will be the observation and for continuous series x i will be the mid value of class this means we have to perfectly remember for discrete frequency distribution here x i stands for observation and for continuous frequency distribution x i stands for mid value of the constant class now the shortcut method formula for both the series is x bar is equal to a plus sigma fi di upon n into c where here di will be x i minus a upon c if it is continuous series c stands for cluster and if it is discrete series c stands for the value which we divide so this is the list of formulas the list of formulas is slightly different 
from ungrouped data because in ungrouped data we don't have f1 students in group data we have f1 so f1 is not equal check here instead of sigma x i is sigma f i x and here instead of sigma d i is f i d i that's all formulas are same almost same in discrete and continuous series we add f i which is group data and in ungrouped data students we don't have So this is the basic list of formula. As far as group data is concerned, and continuous frequency distribution is given, we generally go for shortcut method. As far as group data and continuous frequency distribution is given, students, we generally go. For shortcut method SCM and DM stands for direct method. So this much students we have to remember. If it is discrete series, X I stands for observation, and if it is continuous series, X I stands for bit value of the constant class. So students for ungrouped data generally we prefer DM that is direct method, and for group data generally students we prefer especially for Continuous frequency distribution. We prefer the shortcut method formula. Now, students, today we will complete exercise 3.1. All the sums of mean. Last time we completed first two sums. So today, students, we are going to do from sum number three. The following table gives. The diagram in millimeter of different screws selected from a large consignment find the mean diameter. Now the basic approach, so it's the basic distinctive approach between your 10 standard, 11 standard is to understand what type of data is given. The data is with frequency, so group data. First step, without classes, so discrete frequency. Distribution. So I start with exercise 3.1, answer number three. The given discrete, the given discrete frequency distribution is as below. I note down the columns of X I and F I. X I are thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, and fifty-five. Only the total of X I not required. Four, ten, fifteen, eight, five. Now, students, let us total the frequency. Frequency: fourteen and fifteen, twenty-nine, twenty-nine and eight, thirty-seven and eight, forty-five. N is equal to forty-five. Now, to demonstrate direct method formula, I am going to use this formula. Students, mean x bar is equal to sigma. F I X I upon sigma F I, which is nothing but n. Students, here there is no specification of method, and as far as no specification of method is there, we are independent to select the method. Now I am going by direct method, taking the column of F I into X I. Thirty-four is one twenty, thirty-five into ten. Three fifty, forty into fifteen, six hundred forty-five into eight students forty-five into four is one eighty into two so three sixty. Then two fifty and then one sixty-five students. So if I am going to total this, this is one eight four five. This total is one eight four five, and therefore mean x bar is equal to one eight four five 
divided by 45 and this comes out to which means 41 millimeter. Why millimeter? Because the data of x time students, the data of x time is given in terms of diameter of screw which is given in millimeter students. So finally students you have to write the answer mean of the given data is mean of the given data is x bar is equal to 41 millimeter. This is students our final answer. So students one has to be very careful, one has to be very you can say here uh, perfect to understand the data and to use the type of consent for luck. So students now we are going to do questions 4, 5 and 6. Next target is to do questions 4, 5 and 6 students. I read sum number 4. The marks in the test for a group of students are as follows find mean marks of this students ok this is a continuous frequency distribution and especially in that also this is exclusive so I write like the given continuous frequency distribution of course group data students this is of course group data so the given continuous frequency distribution is as follows. We write classes and we write F5 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40. 40 to 50, 50 to 60, and the last class is 60 to 70, and then we write all the totals. Number of students are 5, 3, 5, 12, 16, 11, 5, and 4. Now, students, let us total the Frequencies 5 is 8, 12 and 8, 20, 20 and 16, 36, 36 and 11, 47, 47 and 5, 52 and 4, 56. I think this total of frequency is 56. Now, students, we find all the mid values inside. All of you know how to find mid values. It is average of class limit 0 plus 10 by 2 is so 5. Then 50. 20 plus 30. 50 by 2 is so 25. 70 by 2 is so 35. 90 by 2 is so 45. 110 by 2 is so 55. 130 by 2 is so 65. Now, students, we have to take a zero mean. And that assume we generally we take a middle value in the column of xi. So all those who don't know what is assuming pay attention whenever it is a continuous frequency distribution, we take assume mean as one of the mid values, and that is the central value. Now I would write di is equal to xi minus a upon 10 because class 10 is 10. Always remember the easiest way to locate class length is the gap between two consecutive mid values. So the di opposite to a will be 0, minus 1, then minus 2, minus 3, and 1, 2, and 3. Again, this is written because the class lengths are equal. Students, I don't know what concept you have been taught in time standard, but here to be careful, the di opposite to a is 0, above is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, but this is written 
because this class is of equal class length, otherwise this cannot be written. And the last problem, f5 di, 3 into minus 3 is minus 9, 5 into minus 2 is minus 10, here minus 12, 0, 11, 10 and 12. So, if I go to the positive value, it is 22, 22 and 11, 23. This is uh, 22 and 9, 22 and 9 is 31, 33 minus 31, so this total is 2. So, B, if I go by shortcut method, it is A plus sigma FID upon N into class N, assume B, 35, total of FID plus 2, N is 56, and class N is 10. So, this is 35 plus, here I can say, this is 20 by 56, approximately if I divide the right, this is 0.36. So, this becomes 35.36. And the data is regarding marks. So, the mean marks are, you can say, 35.36. You like answering final statement? Answer the mean of given data is x bar is equal to 35 point 36 marks mean of the given data is x bar is equal to 35 point 36 marks now so there is the fifth sum let us do sum number 5. Now, in this sum students, sum number 5 students carefully observe what data is given. Students carefully observe what data is given. Sum number 5. The following information is available on the top time. Uh, in minutes, noted for 70 calls of a certain mobile phone user, find the mean talk time. Okay, students. Now, all of you pay attention. Now, students, if you carefully observe, the given distribution is a less than time. C distribution. So I can write like this. Here, let me change the title. I should write like this to this in the title because this title is not appropriate as we are not given a continuous frequency distribution. So we start the title like this to this. Sum number 5. The original distribution from given less than type cumulative frequency distribution to find B. is as below and then students we make the columns of classes now check less than 4, less than 8, less than 12 so class length is 4 and in less than 10 we start with the value before so the first class will be 0 to 4 then 4 to 8 8 to 12 12 to 16 16 to 20 Frequencies are first frequency 20 as it is, then 42 minus 20, so 22. Then you can say uh, 57 minus 42, 
So this will be 15. Then 65 minus 57, so 8. And 70 minus 65, so 5. This total of frequency must be students 70. Check. 7 and 8, 15 and 5, 20. 6 and 1, 7. So these are students the individual frequencies. Now let us find mid values. Mid values the average of class limits 0 plus 4, 4 by 2, so 2. 4 plus 8, 12 by 2, so 6. 12 plus 8, 20 by 2, so 10. 12 plus 16, uh, you can say 28 by 2, so 14. This would be 8. We never total mid values. Generally, a middlemost mid value is considered as assuming you can take any value as assuming. But generally, a middlemost mid value students is considered or taken as uh, assume b. So xi minus a divided by c. C is 4. The gap between two mid values. B are opposite to xi will be always 0. Above will be minus 1, minus 2. Here 1 and 2. Again I am reiterating this is written because classes are of equal class length. Now fi to b are 20 into minus 2. Minus 40, minus 22, 0, 8, and 10. So, students, if I total this, it is minus 44. 18 minus 22 is minus 4, minus 40, so this is minus 44. Mean by shortcut method is 10 minus 44 upon 70, and class length is 4. So 10 minus, this comes out to be 10 minus 2.51. So the answer is 7.49 minutes. So the mean talk time is 7.49 minutes. This is our final answer students. So here, instead of giving directly a cumulative frequency distribution, Students, we were given less than time cumulative frequency distribution and based on which students we first obtain original frequency distribution and then students we need the sum. So this is going to be very easy students once you understand the basics. Now again the title changes so I am erasing this title. Students, now again the title changes. The information of profits in last rupees of 50 forms is given below. Uh, you can say find B prof. Now, this is an exclusive continuous frequency distribution. So, sixth sum. The given Continuous, the given continuous frequency distribution is as below. Now, students, we note down the classes which are 0 to 7, 7 to 14, 14 to 21, 21 to 28, and last. 28 to 35. Frequencies are 4, 9, 18, 12, and 7. So, if we that is total, you can say it is given 50. So, the total of frequency must be 50. 50 forms. Now, let us open with value 0 plus 7 by 2. So, 3.5. Then 21 by 2, so 10.5. Then you can say 35 by 2, so 17.5. Then 49 by 2, students, yes, 49 by 2, 
So this is uh, you can say 24.5 and this will be 63 by 2. So 31.5 middle most value is always taken as a mean. So 0, minus 1, minus 2, 1 and 2 and writing in advance. This is only possible because class means are equal xi minus 17.5 and class length is 7. Now fi di 4 into minus 2, so minus 8, minus 9, 0, 12 and 14. 26, 26 minus 17. So it is 9. So let me use this. Come on, students. This is 9. So x bar is how much? 75 plus 9 divided by 50 and class 27. So 9 is 63 into 126 by 100. So 1.26 plus 17.5. So it is 18.76. 17.5 plus 1.26. So this is 18.76. What is the unit? Then this lakhs rupees. Lakhs rupees. So the mean of the given data is 18.76 lakhs rupees. Now, friends, it is very simple. All of you must be able to understand and do this sums. Now, the last sum should be sum number 7. We will do and then we will complete the exercise sum number 7. Every time bi is equal to xi minus a upon c, a and c will change. The distribution of demand of an item on different days is as follows. So this is an inclusive continuous frequency distribution. Classes are 5 to 14, 15 to 24, 25 to 34, 35 to 49, 15 to 64 and 65 to 79. Frequencies are 4, 17, 19, 22, 18 and 10. And the total frequency is, let us count, 21 and 19, 40 and 40, 18 and 10, 19. Now students, let us find the mean values. Mid values is the average of class two is 5 plus 14, 19. 19 by 2. So the first mid value is 9.5. The first mid value is then 39 by 2. So it is 19.5. Then 59 by 2, so 29.5. Then, students, if I add, this is students, uh, I think this class lines are unequal. Yes, students, the class lines are unequal. This is 84 by 2, so 42. Then, this is 114 by Two. So this is 57 and this is 144. So students, I think I am definitely right. 144 by 2, so this is 72. Now, students, here by which method students shall we go? is a very important 
criterias nos permite. Now, students, all of you concentrate. Here, students, I can even change the method. Here, students, come on. Now, I'm changing the approach. Let us take students. Assume me as 29.5. And here, we simply write di is equal to x sin minus k. We don't divide. We simply write 1. So what will happen? Into C will be removed from the formula. Now 19.5 minus 29.5. So this is minus 20. This is minus 10. This is 0. Now 42 minus 29.5. All of you can easily do. 42 minus 29.5. So this will be 0.5, this will be 11, and this will be 3. So this will be 12.5. Correct. Now, 57 and 29.5. So this will be 5, this will be 16, and this will be 4. So this is 27. If you add, then students, you get the answer as 57. So this answer is 27.5. And finally, 72 minus 29.5. So this is 5, this is 11 minus 9, so 2, and this will be 4. So this will be 42.5. Now, students, I'm leaving this much for you complete, take the column of f i d i into c will not come because we have not divided by any value. Into c will not come because we have not divided by any value. Final answer will turn out to be 40 units. Students, now I can leave this much for you to complete. Please use your simple calculator. You have to multiply f i and d i, not xi and di. In hurry, sum of you multiply xi and di. Then students, your answer will be wrong. So this completes our exercise 3.1. Do all this first twice. Students, write the list of formula three times. Whenever you sit down to practice, it's always make the habit of writing list of formula twice. Once with you and once students without once with key and once students without key. Thank you students, we conclude the lecture.